Welcome to Mabin Antique Auction Galleries, 2022, 29th Annual Carolina Country Store Auction. It will be a three-day event, August 4th, 5th, and 6th, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, consisting of about 1,200 lots each day. Included in this year will be approximately 4,000 lots, which about 1,500 of them will be in our featured catalog sessions over the three-day period. Today, I'd like you to look around at some of the rarities we've acquired from families here in North Carolina. We're representing a little over 120 families, with some of the rarities this year being the best we've ever seen. Day one, Thursday, August the 4th, we will go with about 400 lots between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. At 2 p.m., we have the featured catalog session of antique glass store jars and advertising peanut butter tins, coffee tins, and related. As you look through here, a lot of these come out of Ms. Kern's estate out of East North Carolina. Some of the early examples of Lance, such as the blue apply color label, it says insist on Lance. Also the octagon here. And you have a number of other ones, such as pilot knob coffee, tin litho, unusual planter's peanuts, Lance jars, Tom's jars. These rare examples were, were discovered at the current estate right outside of Raleigh. The one, lot number one is the earlier version of the Lance display titled Enjoy Lance. Thursday, August the 4th at 2 p.m., the bottle session will begin with lot number one. There will be around 300 catalog lots. Included in this collection is probably the rarest North Carolina bottle collection that I've ever seen and I've been in several hundreds, if not thousands, of families, estates, and collections. This is the best we've ever seen. They were collected right outside of Raleigh by one gentleman, started in about around 1960, and collected from 1960 to around 1990. A very private collector, he collected soda pops, whiskeys, waters, and other brands of bottles made here in North Carolina as well as fruit jars. That, that session will come up on Friday. As you look through these bottles, ladies and gentlemen, there's some of the, uh, the condition of the bottles is far more better than I've ever seen in bottles. He was very critical on condition, color, and originality. A lot of these bottles have never been uh, touched, what we, what we refer to as attic mint. There's so many rarities. Again, we encourage all collectors and historians to come view this important North Carolina collection. There's a number of bottles that we've never seen and never heard of here. So all the historians that know bottles, you might want to take a note of this sale and come up and at least get an image and document these bottles. Friday, August the 5th at 6 p.m. will be the featured collection of early American fruit jars. These were also discovered where the bottles were discovered right outside of Raleigh. A 50 year serious collection of the best fruit jars that we have ever offered in the state of North Carolina. We have 150 catalog lots I'm Princess Stone, and I'm from North Carolina. I catalog some jars of a very special collector from North Carolina. There's some that are ambers, there's some pretty greens, and most of them are rare. The Lafayette right there, it's a pint. That one's usually hard to find. The color of this Ball Perfect Mason right here, it is very rare. That's an amber olive. The Ball Perfection, I don't even have one of those in my collection. And there's a Mason Union jar. It's really rare. I started cataloging this. I had never seen one. There's some very, very pretty ones in here. I hope you enjoyed today's video of the fruit jar discovery. We're very excited about this event. Dawn's done an outstanding job on the cataloging and presentation of these. They'll be sold in numerical order beginning 6 p.m. August the 5th. Thank you.